I know what you're thinking. Not another hosting video, right? I get it. Honestly, that's why I've decided to skip all of that prep. Shopping, food prep, table setting, you know the drill. But oh wait, um, there's something new that you may want to see. This time around, we were hosting about 8 people for Friendsgiving. This is the largest number of people we've had in our home in one sitting. And honestly, it's a small space, not equipped with enough seats to actually go around. So we had to move things around and find creative ways to maximize our space. We pushed our couch all the way to the wall, added an extra rug and put some pillows on the floor. Right, now that we have all of that out of the way, well, come on in, let's meet the hosts. I've always loved the idea of bringing people together, intimate conversations, and just enjoying ourselves. I have always craved spaces like this. So, I mean, I might as well just make my own, my own space for conversations, and that is what today represents for me. Thanksgiving, obviously, but also just, you know, being able to achieve one of the things I've always longed for. Yeah, so. I'm excited to be hosting Thanksgiving today, especially in a new country. That's one thing to be really, really thankful for. And I am, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for, you know, all of all the journeys that have led me to this particular point. Food wise, I didn't exactly cook anything, but um, I was very helpful and instrumental. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm Obi and this is my first Thanksgiving ever. And I would say that this is like a very special experience because it's my first Thanksgiving away from home. I've always like seen Thanksgiving on, in the movies and I've always wanted, I've always wondered how that, what that feels like. Yes, I'm also the as I was a assistant host for today, I made jello fries and it tastes really, really good. It's just been a really, really awesome experience and I can't wait for more to experience more Thanksgivings in Canada. Hi everyone, my name is Mark and um, Thanksgiving for me is just about having people together. Um, I really enjoy when I'm surrounded by people. So having this opportunity to spend time with our new community, have fun and just make memories is really good for me. In terms of my contribution, I'm the head chef, um, head sommelier, um, taxi driver, and then more importantly, I do the heavy lifting here. Oh yeah, and I did the, I did the turkey, so. If it, if, it, if it turns out good, it's me. If it doesn't turn out good, it's, it's whoever's eating it, so yeah. Hey. Always the earliest. I'm, I'm a little forceful again. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I, oh, this color looks nice on you. Thank yeah, you. yes, it does. Oh. I got rosé. Oh, thank you. And I got some Indian food as well. Nice. It's there. So, do you mind if I keep it? Yes, please. Oh. It's uh, chop suey. What'd I really like it? this. Sorry. What do you call it? It's chop suey. Okay. Um, it's fried noodles okay. with a uh, Hakka Indian Chinese based gravy. Fried uh, noodles, I really like it. It's one of my favorite dishes from India. Can I see what it looks like? Sure. I uh, didn't make it, so okay. hopefully it's going to be nice. I'm sure it will. Ooh, it's just is that tomato? Sorry? Is that tomato? It's, yeah, it's tomato with a cheese one gravy. So, Thank yeah. you. Hi. <laughs> we have the second person. Yeah. What do you have for us? This is Jemima. Banana bread. Oh, great. You baked it, yes? Yeah. I feel it. Thank you. Uh, it's wrapped. <laughs> oh. This Ooh, you're looking good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. What do you have in the tub? Um, so, you know, being the lazy bachelor that I am, Timbits. <laughs> What's Timbits? It's like... I don't know. Donut centers. Where all the holes go to... Oh, you look good. Oh, you look good, yeah. So Hello. 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 Introduce yourself, your name, what do you bring? You know, uh... What's it called? My name. Yeah. Do you need my full government name? No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I am Tokwe and I brought Suya. Yay! 
Nice, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you brought baby! Hi! Hi, Hi. this is Ogie. I'm Hi. This is Jotan. Aww. Aww. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, you? Do, can you introduce yourself? I'm Rani. What else do I say? How do you have you? What? Oh, cupcakes. I have some muffins and some cookies for dessert. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My name is Ah. Ehi diame uno pronunciation. Mark. Mark. So I have Mark twice in my name. I'm Nigerian by birth. You said that with someone's so much. I'm Canadian in the future. Um, what what do I like? I like to have people around. I like to be around family. I like to enjoy. I like to drink. Really? I just like to have a good time. Are we, are we still doing that? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like to drink. Mm, better. Yes. And um, I'm really grateful for family, I'm grateful for friends, and I'm grateful to be here, away from Nigeria, and in my new adopted country. <laughs> is that your name? We need a few. Cassandra Ikebuni. Actually, my name is Sandra, but I don't like the name, so... Like I don't. Cast it. But your yeah. name is actually Sandra. Well, I don't... My parents don't call me Sandra. They call me Cassie sometimes, so... So Cassie is my name. That's Cassandra. I'm getting the name instead of Shotan. I'm Nigerian. What do I like to do? I like to create content. Um, videos especially, not photographs. Yeah. I like to read books, even though I haven't read a book in like <laughs> six months. I, I borrowed a book from the library and it has just been that couple of years. I'm not I didn't read it. I'm just going to return it back. Um, what else did you say? And what are you grateful for? What am I grateful for? Um, I'm grateful for everyone that's here, I guess. No, I'm grateful for, for us here as well because he gave us like soft landing. Yeah, he brought us to go from where were we before? Burlington. Burlington. Yeah, and he like showed us the way. I'm grateful for Jemima because um, what, you DM'd me, right? I and then she showed me about the, the book club people <coughs> and a couple of things as well. So, yeah. um, I'm from India. Um, I work with Mark. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And what I'm grateful for after hearing all the stories today, I'm grateful for the cops in India. <laughs> I'm grateful for my school because I thought my bullies were bad, but oh my god. <laughs> I'm grateful that my teachers didn't ha lay a hand on me and my parents came to school. Uh, <laughs> um, but I'm also grateful that you guys can share that story with me and I can feel better about myself. <laughs> Actually. So thank you so much. <laughs> what do you like to do though? You didn't say that. Um, uh, I like to get, uh, I like to learn from Mark, and I'm really grateful that I met Mark here. Oh. I'm grateful that he works for me and he, and he introduced me to all you guys. So thank you so much. Oh, nice. Um, I, what did I, we're from Milton. Mm -hmm. You're not from Nigeria. <laughs> oh, we're from Nigeria. <laughs> from Milton. That's been yeah. clear. <laughs> Originally from Nigeria, but yeah. Now we're from. We've adopted his country since mm -hmm. he's Canadian. So where, oh. else, where else will we be from? Mm -hmm. um, I paint. I like to mm -hmm. paint. Yeah, she's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's also what I'm doing for now here in Canada. And what else? I'm grateful for these people, these two guys, the oh. two guys. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I didn't really. I never pictured this. You know, you imagine it, but then. You don't get the, you never get the picture right of mm -hmm. the person you'll be with and you know what your family would look like but this exceeded my expectations. Oh, look at his face. Yeah. And I'm grateful to be here today. Oh, that's so nice. It's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Well, good afternoon, actually. I am Osama Robertina. 
I'm Nigerian by birth. I am British by characterization and Canadian by hopes. <laughs> uh, I work in construction, I'm a carpenter. Uh, so I'm in the field, not in an office. I'm not an engineer, Nigerians. I'm a carpenter. Because <laughs> um, it's kind of generalized. Once you work in construction, you're an engineer. Um, I, am, I enjoy nerdy stuff. Anime, video games, Ooh, being outside. Uh, I do enjoy being in the company of people. And what am I grateful for? It's been a tough year for me this year. Aww. And honestly, I am grateful that Mark actually moved to Canada, funny enough. Um, because at least I have someone I have known since I was nine years old that I can speak to openly, freely. And, you know, regardless of what it is, I'll be like, yo, I just need to vent this. Because the honest truth is when you move to a new country, you make friends, but you never make it's rare that you make the friends like you've had from when you were a child. And I'm very grateful that I'm grateful. My sister's also moved here recently. Um, I'm grateful for health, honestly. And as bad as this year has been, I've always had a situation that was favorable to help me along. Uh, with tough, tough times. So, and I'll just say I'm grateful God's favor this year as well, regardless of how tough the year has been. Nigeria, Kuboma, Vanessa, Onuha. I'm Nigerian. Um, I love to read and create content around that. Um, things I'm grateful for I've escaped my country. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You do know a lot of Nigerians are going to say this. Yes. But then it's all calm. I've escaped my country. I was able to get a job here. Mm -hmm. I'm also grateful for Cassie and uh, he, because only God knows. I'll probably be under one bridge crying. <laughs> 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 I have accommodation, accommodation. I'm so grateful for getting accommodation finally. Yeah. 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 Maranika, Ufuluasha, Bolangle, mm. I'll get to you, bro. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but you can call me Reni. I am Canadian. I've lived here for 23 years, so pretty much Canadian, but I'm Nigerian. And I was born in England, um, so I have three passports. <laughs> what I like to do is I like to travel. I've been to 36 countries. Oh, well, that's great. And sure. what else? Uh, what am I grateful for? I'm grateful for good health. I feel like anytime things happen to me and I, you, you realize how health is pretty much all you have and when you don't mm -hmm. have it it's like a very scary situation so yeah, I'm just very grateful to be in good health and that my family is in good health right now as well. My name is Timmy Tokbe Ayodeji Olawale Olamide Olagoke Dan Kano. Wow. Dan Kano. From Kano. Where are you from? Yes. No, from Ijebu but I was born in Kano. Yeah. No, it's not. It's a name. It, it's, it means the son of Kano. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So like there's uh, a... <laughs> Um, I, I'm, I'm Nigerian, so Ooh. yeah, from Nigeria, but now South African by culture. Mm -hmm. I lived there for like I'm a five years. Um, what else? Uh, based in Kitchener, uh, I like Formula One. I like using my body, like, so huh? sports. That doesn't sound Sorry, sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, I like playing sports. Why did you just say that? I like being active. Okay, yeah, I guess I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Because like I do so many different things. Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I'm 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 also grateful for health. I, I know you said we shouldn't copy, but yeah. Um, <laughs> um, my, my family, I miss them so much, like, you know, everybody, I moved here three months ago and everybody I know, like, my entire social circle is either in South Africa or somewhere else. Um, and I miss them all so much. So I'm grateful for United Airlines <laughs> affording me a cheap ticket to go back next month. That <laughs> yeah. meaning Nigeria or South Africa? South Africa, yeah. My name is... Okay, but full name on passports is Oge Chuku Samuel Moweta. 
I, I live in Hilton, born in Nigeria. Um, what do I like? So I lived, I lived in, I lived in France for almost two years. So I really fell in love with French culture. So I like French language and you know, learning about new cultures in general. Right now, one thing I really like and I'm enjoying is I'm learning DevOps. Right, mm -hmm. hoping to transition in a few months, hopefully. Uh, so that's interesting that I like. Um, what I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for my wife. Mm -hmm. Oh, like it. I'm grateful <laughs> for Jotham. Um, I'm grateful for the journey setting into Canada. I, I wouldn't say it was a smooth one. <laughs> it took months to, to really to really hit the ground and get going, but I'm grateful for the journey. I'm also grateful to be here. Happy to see everyone. It's nice to have community outside of Nigeria, so that's good. Jemima Iko Adijo, um, and I'm Nigerian. Uh, what, what else, please? What do you like to do? Do you enjoy? Oh, what do I like to do? So, I like to read and I'm in love with everything Japanese, so... Mm. Almost an otaku. Don't worry, we'll come to you that <laughs> So, um, just, I just like, like anime, manga, mm. everything. Yeah. Um, What's the next thing? So, what are you grateful? All right, what am I grateful for? Uh, so, I think I'm really grateful that I'm finally building a community here. So, that's the one thing I'll say for today. Like, it's, I mean, it's not been difficult, but it's just nice to actually have people and really settle into this life. And I'm happy to not be comparing Canada to England anymore because at first when I moved here it was a struggle like I was always like oh god in the UK this oh in like and yeah. all of that so um yeah that, it's really good to finally settle into life here I like it so it's nice so my name is Jude Norch Jude Inzemeke um that's I stay in Mississauga no, 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 no. okay so Jude Obi Inzemeke uh, okay yeah nice. That's the reason why I hate saying the middle <laughs> name because it's <laughs> okay. Um, so it's I stay in Mississauga. Um, the middle name Obi, I think it's mostly ladies that answer it, so it's like okay, just yeah. So I stay in Mississauga. Um, I've been in Canada for about a year and a month now. Um, what do I like? I like food. <laughs> Generally, uh, I think maybe something else I also like is snooker. Like I like playing snooker a lot. Like I could just waste my time and forget about time playing. Um, what else? What I'm grateful for? So I think I'm grateful for just life generally. Like just the way things are turning out. Um, and I think same thing with almost everyone here as well. I think coming into Canada, settling in, building a community as well. Yeah, generally I'm just grateful for life and the way things are turning out personally. Finally, the day has come to an end. My first ever thanksgiving and it was really really good it actually surpassed my expectations the food was good everyone brought something everyone brought like good vibes and everything and then we played a game of um conversations it's called true self which is a card game that i actually co-created with my sister who owns um Inkeko games you guys should check it out on instagram and it was really deep and intense and we all had like very soulful conversations to every role that i'm playing in life to the best of my ability this highly defines what we think we're supposed to do so i guess you just need to figure out where what you're supposed to, to do yeah. like i read this book and sometimes you're just pushing around the left <laughs> <laughs> it's like man's search for meaning. I don't know if anyone's read it. It's like Victor Frankl, this guy who was like in a Nazi camp. And it, there's no grand purpose in life, per se. Like, there's nothing. My work or whatever, not defining exactly who I am. I think that this was a, a success. Um, I don't know if we're going to be hosting anytime soon again, but we are open to people inviting us to their homes. But for now, I think that we're just going to, <laughs> we're just going to chill for a bit. Um, yeah, clear out the house, go to bed, and talk to you guys again in my next YouTube video. So yes, thank you for watching. 
ah, I feel really thankful. I don't know. It's like we were driving home this night um, after dropping my friend off, our friend off, and it was just like, wow, we don't have everything that we want, but it's it's not a bad life, you know. And I guess this is what like Thanksgiving, the period, and everything is it signifies, you know, just like actually counting your blessings and knowing that regardless there's always something to be thankful for yeah